Well, for a 148-yard par 3, my club of choice is the 7-iron. It gives you great distance and great acceleration, especially on a day like this with a light breeze about, oh, 1 to 3 miles per hour. So, join me, will, if you will, on the tee box since I prepare to tee off on this hole. And I am going for the club record, a par 1. Hey, hole in one on this course. <sighs> Gotta take a couple practice swings. <laughs> Alright, here's the real one. <laughs> Lost it in the sun. Alright, well. If your ball bounces off the roof of your golf cart and ends up off the fairway, you might want to use a little pitching wedge to hit a little flop shot over the trees onto the green. Just like that. Well, if the flop shot doesn't work out for you, you can always take out your trusty three wood and try to run it up the front of the green. Beautiful shot. Well, if you find yourself on the edge of deer territory, right here, new danger, you can always do what I do and turn your club head over to give you a great angle at the hole. On the green. Well, chipping around the green can be hard for anyone, but if you follow these simple tips, you can uh, improve your handicap by several strokes. Now, the first thing you want to do is set up your feet, then put your club in your hand. Line it up, take a couple practice shots, and then aim for the hole. Practically in the cup. Well, when you're on the green, what you need to do is putt. And the first thing to putt, you do when you putt, is to find the line. Once you find it, you stand up, line up the club, hit the ball, look at the hole, hit the ball, hit your hole, and you shoot. And then, if it's this close, you walk up and just do a one-handed tap-in.